What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and guys we are going to be hopping into season 2 of my head-to-head -head seasons here on the game and guys I feel just so pissed off still that I lost that Super Bowl in season 1 but I have it just in my mind that this this season is going to be different like I just feel like I'm going to be able to play better but We'll see how it ends up going. <laughs> um, I did make a couple upgrades. This is the first game where you guys are going to see that Barry Sanders that I pulled in my very first Cornucopia pack. So this is his debut. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it. But things don't really get off to as great of a start as I was hoping for here. My opponent started just destroying me right away. Very first two plays, he picks up a first down. And I was just scratching my head like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Then he picked up five on a run up the middle. That Those crazy trap plays are just nonsense. And then he just went over the top on me. There were two guys that went deep, and I just I had to pick one of them. I decided to go with the guy over the middle versus the guy on the far left. And unfortunately, it kind of bit me in the ass. DeAndre Hopkins beat me deep on that first drive. But it's time for me to be on offense, and it's going to be Barry time, baby. Very first run, a guy takes me down with a face mask, and I was like, oh, crap. This is not going to be good if they're face masking Barry already. But I'm going to continue to feed him the football. Here on a screen pass, we cut it in, pick up a second first down. Gosh, I have to get into the end zone. I know that this guy has a decent offense. He's obviously able to pass it deep fairly effectively, which most people are not able to do in this Madden. So I definitely knew that I needed to keep up on the scoring on the scoreboard. Excuse me. So we're just going to continue to run the football here with Barry Sanders right up the middle there, picking up another first down. And then it was a pass over the middle to Jason Morrow. Pick up about seven on that one. But now we're on a third and four. And, oh, Jordan Cameron's going to drop this pass in coverage. I decided to go for it on fourth down because, like I said, I know I need to continue to move the ball. Clutch pick up there. Jason Morrow does make the catch, and we are going to run here all the way down to the one-yard line. Thought I got in, but on the very next play, it's going to be Barry Sanders right up the middle. Stands this guy up, carries him into the end zone with me. So that is a pretty nice run for Barry Sanders. Solid first drive there for him on my team. I was pretty happy with that. Not disappointed in how he's been playing, I'll tell you that much. But look at this. He's trying to go deep again to DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know whether I'm playing just extremely poorly or if he just loves to throw it deep to DeAndre Hopkins. I have no idea. But he really was close to beating me for a touchdown on that play. And it wasn't much longer that he is going to go deep again. I thought I had it with Ladarius Webb there. I did not. And he scores again on just another straight streak to DeAndre Hopkins. And then he decides, you know what? I think I want to rub it in. I'm going to go for two. No idea why he decided to do that. But I am going to make him pay for it right here. Big hit going up the middle. And it just felt like I had gained some sort of momentum there. And from here on out, guys, I am going to do a pretty good job here on offense. Not going to lie to you. Barry Sanders is going to put some work in here, ladies and gentlemen. He has a great game for me in this one. Not a lot of breakaway runs, but certainly enough to make my opponent frustrated. Make him force him to really rely on trying to stop the run. And I was just able to hit him with a play action there with Jordan Cameron. And check out this run here by your boy, Barry Sanders. Oh, baby! Dirty. He gets into the end zone for a touchdown. That was nasty. That spin move right on the sidelines. Makes him pay for trying to be overcommittal with the tackles. And right here, Devin McCourty is going to get the interception as he tried to bomb it deep again. That's a Devin McCourty interception. Love it. Made an upgrade there at safety from the last game that you guys saw. So I, I saw your comments about wanting me to have better safeties. And I definitely felt like I needed to do that. And we are able to get into the end zone. Make it a 21-13 to 13 game now. It's still one score. But I just felt like the momentum was definitely going in my direction. As Devin McCourty gets interception number two to end the half. And we're back on offense to start the second half. Second and nine. I miss Jordan Cameron. Third and nine. Ah, oh, the user defensive tackle comes into play again. The guy just blows right past my defensive lineman. And yeah, I messed up again. Let him get deep again. He's just running streaks basically at this point. 
and uh, eventually he's going to be able to catch it because, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to expect it. If he runs a few times, runs a few times, runs a few times, and then bombs just a straight streak over the top, it's pretty difficult to stop. It's surprisingly harder than you would think. I don't know whether streaks are just a, a way more effective right now in the game or if there's some sort of patch, but it didn't really matter because he did end up going for it on fourth down there, and he was unable to catch the pass. Kind of a terrible throw. I don't know what he was doing there. But I'm back on offense with Barry Sanders grinding this clock out a little bit. But I did still want to put some points on the board because this guy kind of pissed me off. You know, I, I mean, I think that he kind of thought he was going to blow me out based on the fact that he scored so early in, in his game. Uh, he scored just a touchdown on that first drive and in, what, four plays? And then he scored on his second drive basically with the exact same thing. Just DeAndre Hopkins beating me deep twice. So then when he went for two, that really kind of upset me. So, you know, I'm not going to have any sort of remorse for running up the score on this guy. As you see Shady McCoy there getting his first work of the game. A nice run there. And, uh, again, he was somebody else that opened up in that cornucopia pack. Hell of a cornucopia pack. If you guys didn't see that, go back and check that thing out. One of the better ones that you're going to see on YouTube, in my personal opinion. Got Barry Sanders and Shady McCoy in it. Not to spoil it, but, you know, it's kind of cats out of the bag at this point on the cornucopia pack situation but we are going to get into the end zone again here it is LaShawn McCoy as he scampers into the end zone to make it a two score game 28 to 13 and again look at the four verts just four verticals basically is what he's running. and Devin McCourty gets a yet another interception his third of the game I think he was a little bit upset that we allowed the touchdowns early because he came back with a vengeance here in the second half, getting another interception. And man, it just, I, I knew it. I knew that he wasn't going to be able to stop me at this point. I basically just needed to get one more first down. Wasn't able to do it there, unfortunately, because user D-line, he just blows right past everything, even though it was a screen pass. But it was like hyper speed there, and I wasn't even able to complete the pass. But it didn't matter because Jonathan Joseph is going to get interception number four for my team for the day. And that pretty much wrapped up the game, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We're 1-0 in the season. I'm excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.